show talker. Haven't seen you eat a single thing since you got here. Let me guess. Photosynthesis. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, a long time ago, I knew someone with a... Code talker. Haven't seen you eat a single thing since you got here. Let me guess. Photosynthesis. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, a long time ago, I knew someone with a similar ability. Well, you are correct. Most of my body is covered with parasites. I supply them with water, and in return, I receive sugars they produce when exposed to light. Mm -hmm. It isn't just my skin either. The parasites also act as my eyes. They have replaced many of my internal organs as well. It is thanks to them that I live on after over a century. How did you obtain them anyway? Through your research? I would like to say as much, but there is more to it than that. Let me take you back 20 years. I had hit a dead end with my parasite research. Then I was approached by a foundation. They said they had a sample of an unusual strain of parasite. Which foundation? Apparently, they had links to ARPA. But that is all I learned. I was somewhat ignorant of the ways of the world. Just being able to study it was enough for me. Yeah, I've heard that before. Go on. Half in doubt, I visited them to discover the body of an old man. Well, to be precise, his partial remains. A collection of parts, you could say. The man had died in an explosion. An old man, you say? His flesh had not decomposed. In fact, the tissue's cells were still metabolizing. The parasite had infected, or should I say assimilated with, the tissues, and was keeping them alive. I became obsessed with studying the body parts foregoing food and even sleep. Every day was filled with new discoveries. The parasite's biology, internal anatomy, life cycle. But there was only so much I could learn through observation. And so I made a decision. To truly know the parasites, I had to live with them. So you implanted them inside you from the dead man's flesh? Correct. It was quite a gamble, whether or not they would adapt to me. But fortunately, it appears I was compatible with them. Or perhaps, through my many years of research, my immune system learned to tolerate them. Were they that body's only parasite? Yes. However, there was a separate specimen that supplied its host with adrenaline in response to pain, and yet another that could control insects at will through secreting heterogeneous pheromones. I wanted exposure to them, to take them into me, but my wishes were denied. Their records, though, provided clues that helped advance my research. Would you care to join me? A life spent never worrying about food is a most wonderful one. I think I'll pass. But thanks. This has been helpful. <laughs>